Hi, my name is Anton. I'm the product manager for the IntelliJ Kotlin plugin, and I'm happy to share some of the most interesting things that have happened in Kotlin over the last month. Well, it's time to announce the results of the Kotlin Features Survey 2021. A few months ago, we held the second poll for the most awaited language features. The main goal of the survey was to find out what you thought about the relative importance of future Kotlin features and the diversity of user scenarios. The vote was very close, but first place was taken by multi cage and union types. 45% of respondents choose this feature. The next six features received a very similar percentage of the vote. So, as you can see, the whole situation and priorities are not so obvious, and you helped us a lot. Thanks for all participants for your choices and opinions. Amazon announced the developer preview of AWS SDK for Kotlin. It simplifies the use of AWS services by providing a set of libraries that are consistent and familiar for Kotlin developers. It supports both JVM and Android environments. The dedicated web page contains everything that is required when getting started, including the feature set, developer guides, and SDK code examples. And of course, I can't forget the advent of Kotlin Challenge, an annual December event where holiday-themed puzzles were published every day from December 1st to December 25th. With the permission of Eric Wassel, creator of Advent of Code, we showed how to solve those puzzles using the idiomatic Kotlin style. Check out how it went right here on our YouTube channel. From time to time, we publish case studies from our customers who want to share their experience adopting Kotlin technologies in their field or projects. This month, we interviewed Sunsyn, a company that provides artificial intelligence-based solutions for businesses. They help to increase customer loyalty and boost conversion rates with personalized customers' recommendations. In the article, the expert explained why they choose Kotlin, how solution was implemented, and what results they eventually got. In December, Kotlin Caroutines released a 1.x library version. In this version, developers introduced a new API for Caroutines test and dispatcher use, supported a new Kotlin native memory manager, migrated to Java 8 target, and more. See in-depth review of 1.6 version changes by Anton Arhipov in our channel. Last but not least, we prepared a special episode where we reviewed the most memorable events of 2021. In a warm holiday atmosphere, Seb gave us a rundown of how things were going and overall picture of how the language has evolved. This episode will also give you an idea of what 2022 has in store for developers. There was a monthly Kotlin ecosystem news. Subscribe to our channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest events. Comment on this episode if you find it interesting or have questions regarding anything we've talked about. I hope the holiday season was or is going great. Stay safe and take care.